Hello everyone, welcome back to SPD tutorial series. In this video, we will learn how to place a friction plate between horizontal drum and the saddle. Okay. First of all, we will go to this plant, go to this metric unit, and click on OK. This window will appear. In this, go to File, go to Define Workspace, go to Filter, go to More, and select the filter which we have created in previous video. Click on OK. Now the all the components will be shown in this window. We will expand these. These are all our components which we have created till now. Okay. In task, go to task, equipment and furnishing. Go to common views. And we can change the orientation. Okay. Click on the shapes and drag this side. Friction plate is placed between this uh, horizontal drum and the saddle. Uh, its main work is to reduce the friction and allow the control movement of the pipe as the pipe expands or contracts. Okay, it reduces the wear and tear between the pipe and the horizontal drum. Okay, so we will place this friction plate here. Okay, for that uh, first of all we will go to this D one two zero one. Okay, now this option will be there. Select this option. Now this window will appear. Okay. In this dialog box, we will give name FP one friction plate one. Okay. For A position, what is the A? A is the width of the friction plate. Okay. So oh, that is the platform width. Okay. Uh, that uh, we will take as forty for now. B, B is the platform height. Okay, the platform height uh, should be taken uh, greater than the uh, this uh, saddle height. Okay, the saddle height we have taken three hundred, so platform height we will taking four hundred. We will uh, we will see the C value. What is the C? C is the platform radius. Okay, the platform radius is equal to the radius of the cylinder, and the cylinder diameter we uh, we have been given. One four one zero. Therefore, the radius will be seven not five. Okay, and the angle will be one twenty degree. We will click on this and we'll press OK. Okay. Now we have to place this. For that, we can go to this pinpoint option, and we can place uh, by clicking this arrow also. But we are placing with the help of this zero enter. Not position also we will put zero enter. Elevation also we will put zero enter. Okay, we will click anywhere on the screen. Now this is not this axis is not aligned with this, so we will click on the arrow button of the keyboard and we will align this. Okay, Now we will see this in other views. Okay. Now it is aligned. Now we can make it move. Okay. For moving it, click on move. For that, first of all, we have to lock the position. When this north arrow will come, click on the center button of the mouse or scroll button of the mouse. Now this position is locked. Now we have to put the position here. Okay. From here to here distances. 965 and the plate width is 400 so we have to add 965 plus 400 divided by 2 that is 200 okay that will be 1165 okay we will place here and we will click anywhere on the screen now our friction plate is placed okay now we will copy this friction plate or for that copying first of all click on the friction plate And click on this copy option. Okay. This copy option will appear. And now we will select the position. We can select from here also. We will place zero here. Enter. Here eleven sixty five. Enter. Here zero. Enter. Okay. Click anywhere on this screen. Now your point will be selected. 
now paste option and check this box delete optional and okay this distance is 2870 okay this distance is 2870 first of all we will lock in the position click on the center mouse button then this north will appear after that click on this 965 plus 2870 plus 200 we will enter now this position will be placed click anywhere on this screen okay now right right click on this fp go to properties and change the name here okay we will change the name fp2 friction plate 2 we will click on okay now our friction plate is positioned okay you can see that our friction plate is positioned okay okay we will continue further in other videos till then thank you